Oh, hey, it's been a while since I've done an update. I uh, figure I'd do another one. Uh, just fair warning. Um, I recorded some stuff last night. Um, this is about caregiver fatigue. Uh, I was in a pretty bad place last night. And trying to put it into words, um, it's a lot like... All right, I'm going to play this video and just let you watch it, and then I'll come back and talk. So I decided to come to bed early tonight. My brain is just going off in every direction about how I'm not doing enough all the things I should be doing. And I'm overwhelmed. The thing they never tell you about is caretaker fatigue. I went to the grocery store today, did some grocery shopping. I went to a couple, actually. There's some sales and some things I wanted to get at Aldi and then went to uh, another place that's a I think a super value one of the super value family somewhere in there but I think met they might all be I don't know um, I got some work done and I just got in from playing chase the laser with the dogs because they were so adamant about wanting to go outside and play. I needed to go take them outside to play. It's... I feel like I'm going 90 miles an hour but my wheels are spinning. I'm going to try and sleep. I know I'm going to dream. Dreams always happen in the morning. As a matter of fact, usually when I wake up, I'm still dreaming. I can get a little freaky. Um, it usually doesn't last too long. <laughs> Less than a minute, usually. Sometimes it's gone longer, uh, but that's pretty rare. Whew. I don't know, this is, this is new. Usually I try and uh, you know, point out some of the good things or at least try and make it positive or happy or something, but this is not positive or happy. Uh, it's freaking hard. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I'll talk to you guys later. What I've been feeling is this sense that I'm not doing enough. Um, and I know that it's false. I know that's not real. But I'm in this place where I can't affect the outcome of what's going to happen. And I'm watching her deteriorate every day. It's a little bit more gone. And the only thing I can really do is, you know, cook for her, clean, fix things, uh, spend time with her. But there's only so much time that I can do that. 
I can't be with her all the time. And I feel guilty for that. And I know I shouldn't, but I do. And that's really, really, really hard for me to deal with. So that's, that's the kind of thing that's in me right now. Uh, and I know it's going to get worse when she goes because I'm going to be second guessing and third guessing and playing that game all over again. I'm trying to catch it now, trying to put in place the safety planks, so to speak, that will let me crawl out of the hole that I know I'm going to get into. That though I may feel like it's not enough. Nothing could be enough. And what I am doing here is good, is appreciated, is necessary. And I'll be fine. I'm going to make mistakes. I know that. I'm not perfect. I'm not even close to perfect. Well, I'm pretty close. But, um, Anyway, I know it's a little emotional. Um, I was going to say I didn't really mean for it to be, but yeah, yeah, I did. Um, some of y'all are going to be going through this at some time in your life. Uh, so just know you're not alone. You're not the only one. It may feel like it, it may feel horrible. But other people have done it. Other people will do it too. You're okay. You're gonna be okay. It's gonna hurt like hell. But you're gonna be okay. Yeah. This is not what I intended. <laughs>